30 minutes to some place I've never been to meet someone I've never met to get on a boat I know nothing about. I feel like this is how most horror movies get started, so hopefully I don't get murdered. We'll be tuning a boat with LS motor in it, and this sounds kind of bad because I'm talking to so many different people at the same time about similar stuff. I think this one has a LSA blower on it, and it does not run really at all so far. Uh, I tried to log in through TeamViewer, our customer wasn't comfortable doing that. Hopefully we can uh, get it to, to run a little bit and it's not a mechanical or electrical problem or something like that. So if we can actually get this thing up and running good enough to take it out of the water, it should be a fun day. Second time on these always goes a lot better because you know what crap you need. Uh, right now, what is great? I mean, is the idle at 1100 or is it showing? We're at a thousand on the dot here, which is what I'm telling it to do. Okay, so we want to drop it to about 900. Okay, we can drop it. We'll mess with the idle once we get back so that we're not stalling the thing out here on the water. This should be all right. All right, that was oh, maybe maybe about fifty percent throttle. So maybe try and shoot for like sixties. Okay, you ready? Yep. Do, a, do like a 1-1000, one, 2-1000, one thousand, one thousand, which is pretty short. Alright, you ready? Yep.
nuts perfect. Uh, but it's still only making like four pounds of boot. So, why do you think that is? It could either be something with the supercharger bypass and like actual solenoid, or it actually needs to be mechanically adjusted inside of the blower. Um, so sometimes that flap, like even when it's all the way closed, it's not all the way closed, and then you're just kind of blowing boost past. Um, it's actually super common on the TTSVs. Everyone that comes to the dyno, like, it, it needs some sort of an adjustment. Should it be closed? When the, it should be closed, yeah, when the throttle's all the way open, that, that flap should be all the way closed. Then you want to try another hit? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to uh, dig through it a little bit more. Maybe that code open? Possible. What's, um, what's the boat etiquette? Like, can you just pull up to the... Yeah, just, as long as it's body. Okay. Maybe we should just do that. We can pull a couple plugs out and just kind of give everything a once over. Okay. Yeah, as long as nobody's waiting, then we're good. Yeah. And if somebody's waiting, we can always yank it out, put it back in. It's not okay. Hard. Yeah, all right. The um, yeah, I mean, with another 10, ten pounds of boost, this thing's gonna be crazy. You don't have a boost gauge up there, do you? Right have you happened to glance at it? Uh, no, I've been watching the pack. Okay. Maybe, maybe yeah, let's just do one more. Let me log it, and we'll just see if. Uh, I definitely had bad sensors that don't, you know, just kind of crap out. It's only making about four psi, so we're gonna pull it out, pull some plugs, and start investigating that. But this thing hauls ass just for four pounds, so. If we find another five or ten, it's going to be crazy. Okay, so it was still still going. Yeah, okay. it'll keep going up as it as it, it's a jet drive. Yeah. So once it gets up, it's going to start. It'll climb for a, a little bit. Okay. Main thing is we got to make sure we're fat. Taking a rip, Tata Chip. All right, this is a little more timing, uh, a little richer air fuel, and past this. To put any more timing in it, I really like to see a spark plug or two, especially that cylinder number two. So I don't know if we can just do that in the water or if we want to pull it back out, but let's do a quick rip and kind of make a decision. And you can log it, and yep. then we're going to let's, let's take a little ride and see how it is just for a little ride. What do you okay. Think? You good for that? Yep. Let's go. You ready? Yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. PSI and we're right around 80% injector duty cycle so it's making far more power than obviously where it was at four pounds yeah, um, 80 some percent huh? yeah and it, it feels like every bit of it and yeah. fuel pressure is maintaining too so it's not like it's dropping pressure oh good well that's one thing I was worried about maybe the pump would get hot and it wouldn't keep the fuel pressure but right now yeah. motor sounds quiet too by the way really awesome from everything I can see on here, with the exception of where you're rolling into the throttle, um, everything's like spot on. And I don't want to put any more timing in it without getting some spark plugs out of it. All right, let's so. take a ride. Okay. Take a ride? Sure. No, I don't want to drive, but uh, yeah, it'd be awesome to go for a little cruise. Take a little cruise, we'll go back, and that might put some spark plugs in stuff, I just want to make sure nothing's melted. Um, Really, to, to check spark plugs, we'd have to do a pull, shut it off, and 
basically be pulling plugs while we're still uh, right. still cruising.